This is just a quick tutorial on how to compare two surfaces in Pocket 3D to get a volume out in the field. Uh, it's a lot quicker than having to take all your stuff back to the office and throw it through a laptop program. Uh, instead you can do it out in the field, it's nice and quick. So what I'm going to do is create a surface for the bottom of batter, just for a nice bottom uh, flat level, and then I'm going to create another surface for the whole job, and then I'm going to compare those two to get a volume. So I'm going to make sure, firstly down here, I've got the selection tool. I'm going to go through, select all my bottom and batter points, and go to data, surface, and none. This is where my current is, so what I'm going to do is create a new one from a surface point that we've got there. I'm just going to go OK, this gives me a quick preview. I'm going to go to next, set it as current, and just call it bottom. This is going to be our bottom layer. I'm going to go to finish, go OK, set that to current. And then it shows us there quickly our uh, bottom layer. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to go to surface, but I'm going to turn that off. And now I'm going to create another one based on all the points here. So as you can see, I've still got all my bottom abutters selected. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to select all the tops as well. And this is going to give us a, uh, a surface based on all these points here. So I'm going to go to data, surface, none. I'm going to create a new one again. Just going to call it, there's our surface there, incorporating all the bottoms around the edge and the tops, so there's four in the middle there. So it's got a new, new set current surface, I'm going to call that all. We go OK, finish. Now, when creating a uh, volume report, your bottom surface or your bottom layer, your bottom uh, 3D model is always going to be your design surface. So I want to select this bottom one at the moment, set that to current, and then using data, surface, and compare, I'm going to compare that design surface, which is always your bottom, it's already automatically selected through here, and my existing surface is going to be all. So if I just hit next, basically gives us a, uh, a little report there, a little display. You can show your cut, show your fill. But at the moment, just for this stockpile, pretty much, it shows us we've got a bit of cut there. So if I go to report, uh, it shows us here, it gives you the date. Your design surface is the bottom, existing surface is all. Your common area is uh, your top compared to your bottom. Uh, and the cut volume here, for this stockpile, it's roughly about 3.5 metres high. And the cut volume at the moment is 361 cubes and no fill. And you've got your volume difference here, uh, if there's any discrepancies there. So if I just hit save, I can save that to a text file. Uh, but just for the sake of here, I'm just running this on PC demo at the moment, so I won't have to save this. But uh, when you're out in the field, uh, it's basically uh, as easy as that.